take the incoming need. In this video, we are going to see how to do circuit breaker timing test. CV time control meter here. We are using a scope time control meter timing test connections. Connect R R dash from kit to the circuit breaker. Similarly, Y Y dash B B dash from the scope time control meter to the circuit breaker. Connect breaker control wires. Please note that the following connections are valid only if 1-2 volt DC supply is available in the panel. It consists of three terminals. Common positive, closed positive, trip positive. Let's see in the schematic diagram. Common posture can be given to any posture terminal of the circuit. As shown in the figure, you can give it anywhere or you can give it directly to the one ton volt DC posture supply. Let's consider a closing coil. Here MC is the closing coil. Close positive can be connected anywhere as shown to give close command from the kit. Let's consider trip circuit. M0 is the trip coil. Trip Positive can be connected anywhere as shown to give trip command from the kit. This is the overall connection diagram of a 3 pole circuit breaker timing test connection. After connecting the cables as shown, switch on the 1-10 volt DC supply in the panel for CB closing and tripping circuit by referring the schematic. Common positive is given to the kit for controlling close and open operations. Close positive is given to the kit for giving close command from the kit. Trip positive is given to the kit for giving trip command from the kit. Close coil and trip coil gets negative through panel closing and tripping circuits. Instead of closing and tripping through TNC switch, we give close open command from the CB timer to observe and record the timings taken for each operation.